Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Brett and I, Millimeter USA here, and this is going to be a very special review. This is a 1911 that you have never seen before. We're going to review the standard manufacturing color case number one engraved. It comes in this black box right here. And this is the way it came. Wrapped in plastic. And then a protective cloth. That is a gorgeous 1911, and we'll get into that in just a minute. I'm gonna set it to the side for right now and go through some of the things that come in the box. This is the standard manufacturing, looks like inspection form. This gun has been thoroughly inspected before packaging in our facility. We guarantee that this gun left here in perfect condition. No blemishes, scratches whatsoever, and that's been signed off on. A certificate right here, Certificate of Manufacturing Excellence. Congratulations to the purchaser. And it's signed off by the president and the inspector. And the date on it is 4-10-19. Looks like you get your normal lock and a polishing cloth there, along with an owner's manual. Oh, and you get a very nice cloth right here for wiping down your 1911. Oh, that's very high quality, guys. We have a lot of gun rags and gun cloths, but that is very nice. And you can tell it's been treated with something to prevent any rust or damage to your pistol when you store it. Wipe it down with that and put it away. All right, let's set this to the side and bring the beautiful subject matter to the forefront. Standard Manufacturing 1911, first rounds. How's it feel? It's sweet. Good. It's very sweet. So first rounds out of it, guys, no malfunctions. That's about what we expected. A beautiful 1911 we're shooting today for the first time. So guys, this standard manufacturing color cased engraved number one is made in Connecticut. There is a lot of engraving on the pistol itself. Let's see if we can get that into focus. There you go. So it not only has a gorgeous color to it, but the whole thing has engraving all over it. There we go. Just gorgeous. A fantastic masterpiece that covers everything. Front strap, the back strap, the beaver tail, the safety, the slide release are done in a deep blue, but they're also engraved. So just a quick look at the pistol right there as we start to talk about it. This gorgeous production 1911 is full of features for a very attractive price. We shot about 300 rounds of Sig Sauer Elite Performance Ammunition through this 1911 during the review, and you'll see that shooting coming up. The ammo is supplied by Elite Performance Ammunition from Sig Sauer. This is their 45 ACP ammo, 230 grain, traveling at 850 feet per second and 369 foot pounds. So you guys, this standard manufacturing 1911 is technically a production 1911, but it is built to the same tolerances as any other semi-custom or custom 1911 on the market. Everything is precisely machined at first and then hand fitted from there. You can see how tight the tolerances are as far as the frame to slide fitment. Just extremely good. 
You can see how well the beaver tail is blended to the frame. As good as a $4,000 1911 pistol for sure. Extremely high quality, no side to side playing at all. And using it is really good also. You can just see how well blended it is. If you look up at the top, there's no weird wear happening as far as the hammer interacting with the beaver tail. Skeletonized style hammer right here. This is just a beautifully machined and hand fitted 1911 offered by Standard Manufacturing with this amazing engraving and color case finish. Elander Magazine. So guys, the standard manufacturing 1911 has a forged slide and frame from solid pieces of 4140 carbon steel. This 1911 is very smooth in its operation already. And just feels like a very expensive 1911. You can tell when you're handling it and looking at it that you have something very special right here. Let's talk about the finish of the 1911. This is a bone charcoal color case finish. This is done the old school way where they put the slide and frame in an oven with actual animal bones to give this 1911 this beautiful finish. And the finish on this particular 1911 is different than every other one of theirs that comes through this process. It is truly a custom finish. No two look exactly alike. You want a custom 1911? If you like this finish, this is your gun. Love that extended mag release. Trying to get used to that as far as that double tap. All right, guys, the weight of this standard manufacturing 1911 comes in at 38.4 ounces, and that's a little bit lighter than some that don't have rail on it. So I think the weight is pretty good, and it does help tame the recoil of that 45 ACP ammo that this thing shoots out. You want a man stopper? This 1911 is perfect for the job. Absolutely love the way it looks, too. I'm a big fan of this finish. You guys have seen it in a couple other guns that I own, but nothing that looks quite like this. It's because those other companies use a different process where this is the actual real process and how you really should do it. It costs more money to do this this way. And I probably don't need to tell you guys, but there's lots of competition out there that does some of this work on their 1911s. And as Young Beretta said earlier, it's not uncommon to find those guns between the 4500 and 7500 price range. So just keep that in mind as we continue to talk about this 1911. Another mag? Mm-hmm. Running really good. All right, guys, we definitely wanted to mention that this is a Series 70. It does not have the firing pin block, which is inclusive in the Series 80s. So the Series 70 design is more wanted out there, and this is a Series 70. The frame of this 1911 also has a slight beveling to the magazine well, making it easier to insert those magazines into the pistol. It's very easy to do. The pistol itself also has an extended magazine release, which is often wanted by 1911 buyers out there. And you can see all these controls have that beautiful deep bluing. Very high quality, nicely checkered. There's also an undercut to the trigger guard for a higher grip on the pistol itself. You have to get that higher grip to be able to control the 45 ACP round. All right, guys, one handed here. Strong side. Nice. 
shooting like a dream. This 1911 also has 25 lines per inch front strap checkering. And the mainspring housing is also checkered at what I believe is 20 lines per inch. And notice that everything is case colored. It's also a steel mainspring housing. It's not aluminum or plastic. Just extremely high quality. Let's talk about the safety real quick, guys. Not only is it a beautiful blue and it is engraved, as you can see, but it is almost the absolute perfect size. It is nice and wide and it has serrations on there for traction. And here's what it sounds like. Amazing quality detent. It's definitely a forged part, right, Brutus here? It does appear so. I mean, everything on this thing is very high quality. This 1911 does come with rosewood wood grips and they are a double diamond design on there. I thought they were pretty good. And of course, the hardware is also blued. It just goes well with this pistol. It adds to the overall appearance. It's very classy looking. The trigger on this 1911 is a four pound medium solid trigger. And I want to say it feels like it's just a tad over four pounds to me. But as you can tell, a good return spring right there. And here is the play. So it has, what is that? I would say a quarter of an inch movement. And then it breaks. Reset. The spring pushes it out immediately. I'm kind of holding it right there. No play and break again. It's a pretty good trigger. It is not adjustable though. I wish it was adjustable, but it's not. So we just wanted to make sure that you were aware of that, at least on this particular model. Running really good. This is a full-size government 1911 from Standard Manufacturing, and so it does have a five-inch match-grade barrel. And as far as movement or anything in the barrel, there's none. Again, the fit and finish on this 1911 is very, very good. Very nicely finished barrel on this end. This 1911 does have a standard guide rod. So when the pistol is locked back, which this does matter to some folks, when you're done shooting, it's going to have the traditional look to it like this. Yeah, so GI style. I like this. I like that a little bit better. Very nice, man. Yeah. The sights on this 1911 are worn tactical blacked out style sights. You have a U-notch rear, which is great, and a ledge on the rear also to be able to rack the pistol if need be. So that's awesome. They do have serrations on the front sight and rear sight to reduce glare. They are replaceable if you want to change them out. I believe it's the standard style Novak style cutout. So you can change them out if you want to change the sights out. At the price that this 1911 comes in, you can put any pair of sights you want on it. Wow. 
Headshots. One sailed right over top. It's an excellent pistol, man. This thing is accurate. Standard manufacturing. So guys, you've been watching this video for about 24 minutes or so. What is the price on a 91011 like this? What would you pay? We've already talked about 4,500 not being the price and 7,000 not being the price. Would you believe 1899? Standard manufacturing sells this for 1899. It is their top model and it is definitely a top model worth considering. If you like this finish, I think you've got to have this 1911. If you can afford to buy something like this, if you're a regular Les Bear, Wilson Combat, Nighthawk type of guy, I think you've got to have one of these. It's also worth mentioning that their lowest cost 1911 is only $12.99. So if you are interested in this 1911 and it's hard to swallow the $18.99 price tag, you know, for a couple hundred dollars less, you can get into this exact 1911 without the engraving or color case hardened finish. It's the blued style. You get the same amount of features, just very high quality. That's worth mentioning, you Brett, a good job because some folks won't like this finish, believe it or not, and they'll watch this video and they'll say, you know what, that finish is not for me. If it's not for you, there's four or five, six different styles from standard manufacturing that are built to the same type of quality, just don't have the same finishes for you to be able to choose from. I believe the entry price is $12.95, and that $12.95 gives you a forged frame, a forged slide, and a top quality 1911 for an all steel 1911. Precisely machined and hand fitted. Right. So that's something to consider if you're shopping at the lower end, you don't like the finish, or you don't want to spend $1,800 even on a 1911. $12.95 is where they start. It is worth considering if you're in the market for a 1911. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. And if you're interested in this standard manufacturing, case colored engraved number one or anything else available from standard manufacturing go ahead and check out their products and website these particular 1911s are fairly limited in their production so if you're even remotely interested in this one don't hesitate get one soon and add it to your collection as always everyone thanks for watching the video remember to like share and subscribe to our channel here on youtube bread and i'm in the usa for more guns and gear videos coming up in the future